Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we will be discussing a very interesting problem that is insert in a sorted list. So this problem is a good problem if you are not well acquainted with the working of a linked list else this problem is just like insert an element in a sorted array. So let's talk about this the only dip. so as the name suggests we need to insert a node in a sorted linked list. Okay, so the very first example it has discussed about that the very first example is 25, 36 and 47 and the data to be inserted is nothing none other than 90. So what we really need to do is we need to do something like 90 next is equal to 20. So we can or if nothing exists then we need to make this as head and we need to return this. So what we can say is we can say that if the head value is more than the data given then we would say make a new head and return that head so let's just implement this thing and that would make more sense so we would say that if head is equals to equals to null okay equal to equal to null or heads data is greater than the data given okay so if this thing is solidified then we already have made a new node with the given data so we would make this as the head okay so we would say this given data's next would become the head that is given and then we would return the head like we would make a new head and we would return that simple case just handle it explicitly now let us move forward and see the next test case. The very next test case is something like 1, 3, 5 and 7. Fair enough. Now what we would do is let's say the value to be inserted is 6. So first we can go till the point it is less. Okay. We would go till the point that is less. So this would be the pointer let's say this as current okay now what i want is i want currents next okay currents next should become six okay currents next should become that is given data and given data's next should become currents next okay so first we would implement this one okay so we would say given data's next is equal to currents next we have implemented this one then we need to do what currents currents next is equal to given data and that is sufficient enough so first we would move till the point where the current is pointing less than the given data. Okay. And then we would say, we would first implement this. Why we are implementing this? If we directly implement this, we would lose this. That is why we would say first, given data's next is equals to current next. And then we would implement this, which and this would be automatically replaced. Now let us implement this. First, we design a while loop. Okay. We design a while loop. So we would say at this point that node star current is equals to head. And this while loop would be there for what? Till head is not equal to null. While currents next is not equal to null. Like we have the bandwidth to move forward. Or and and. Okay, we have the bandwidth to move forward and currents next, currents next dash data is less than the given data. If this is the condition, then we are telling current, can you please move forward? After moving forward, what we really need to do is we need to do given data's next 
is equal to currents next and then currents next is equal to given data this would be done and at the end we would return the head because the head is not modified and here we need to return the given data yes because we are modifying the head itself now let us just compare and see how many errors are we making okay seems like no error is being made and this is working perfectly fine so that's it for today just before leaving just know the time complexity the best time complexity is when the node is to be inserted in the front so the time that in the best case scenario the time complexity would be big of one in the worst scenario you need to insert that node in the last position so you need to iterate over all of the nodes so in that scenario time complexity is big of n fair enough so that's it for today thank you and have a nice day